Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and this is the 5-Minute Weekend Report. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets me know you're enjoying these videos. We've had a lot going on over the last week, so let's not waste any more time. But don't go away so quick at the end. I have an announcement for you. As we all know, Starship SN4 passed cryo test with a 4.9 bar, enough for a static fire and a hop test. But as of this recording, we still have not had a static fire. We're waiting, and hopefully it'll happen this weekend. SpaceX did fire up the flare stack. That's a good sign, something we haven't seen in a long time. Now we see, according to a tweet from Jim Bridenstine, SpaceX was selected to be one of the three to develop a manned lunar lander. Of course, SpaceX will end up using Starship. According to his tweet by SpaceX, the lunar-optimized Starship will be able to fly between the surface of the moon and lunar orbit without flaps or heat shield. We also have this audio from the NASA news conference where Mr. Bridenstine mentions his hope for NASA and SpaceX future relationship. Uh, SpaceX has been an amazing partner of NASA now for many years, um, including resupply of the International Space Station, soon uh, with providing crew, NASA astronauts, to the International Space Station. Um, and as we announced yesterday with the human landing system, um, we're very hopeful that, that SpaceX will be taking our astronauts all the way to the moon in the not too distant future. Okay. So what did he mean by all the way to the moon? Did he mean all the way from the Earth to the moon? Well, I don't think so. I think what he meant was the HLS, also known as the Human Landing System, basically taking humans from lunar orbit to the moon's surface. But we all know Starship will be capable of much more. It was maybe a little wishful thinking. The reason I think that they didn't mean from the Earth to the moon was because just take a look at what Crew Dragon had to go through to be able to be certified to carry humans, and that's just to Earth's orbit. So here's what we've got. They've given SpaceX the ability to show everybody else up. What happens if SpaceX makes it to the moon before NASA? What happens then? Well, your guess is as good as mine on that one. But we have a tweet from Elon contradicting that. Elon Musk tweeted late on Friday, we're going to try to land Starship on the moon with enough propellant to return to Earth. So these images that were shown by NASA are not quite accurate, as Starship would require the control surfaces or flaps to return to Earth. Not only that, but Starship would be required to refuel in Earth orbit. So SpaceX definitely has their work cut out for them. That is, unless NASA wants a fully dedicated Starship, and I'm sure SpaceX would be more than happy to help with that. Okay, guys, here's your little surprise. My patrons already know about this, and if you've been paying attention to my channel, you've gotten a hint of it last week. Mars or Bust and a few very talented friends has entered the Mars Society City-State Design Competition. That's right. The goal of this competition is to actually design a city-state that can hold one million people include everything that one million people would need to survive on Mars. We've named this new community Nexus Aurora. We hope the first name of the first city on Mars would be Nexus Aurora. And if you'd like to become a part of this and help us make this happen, you can go to the link in the description. It'll tell you everything you need to know to become part of it. We're looking forward to seeing you there. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. There are some amazing people. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description. This has been your 5-Minute Weekend Report. This is Spaceman Dave. Have a great weekend and be safe.
We'll see you again next week.